The experience with uh, fraud increases within the retail banking market has been quite considerable. Uh, if you actually look at some of the fraud stats currently um, that are being experienced, where about four and a half, nearly five percent of individuals have experienced either with their credit card or uh, with their bank account some form of fraudulent action. And it's actually shown amongst a number of our CFAS members uh, where the increase in fraud has been over 16% over the course of the last year. So really for the banks it's extremely important in terms of protecting their customer against fraud and it is their number one area in terms of ensuring that they've actually got very clear understanding of who their customer is transacting with. So it's one of the areas that the bank are very much focusing on to see what can they really understand as to how best to manage their customers. Because uh, clearly there is a very strong level of reputational risk that is important and certainly mitigate any of the risk factors where they could start to lose that reputation and the value of their customer service to those customers. Uh, the banking sector, the retail banking sector is very competitive. A lot of new companies are coming into the market, uh, particularly with the new challenger banks. Um, and that means that the banks really need to improve their processes for making sure that they are clearly protecting their customer. So they're looking at ways of doing that, that they have various strong authentication processes at the moment. Um, but some of those are not as perhaps as strong as they feel that they should be. Um, it doesn't necessarily pick up small transactional volumes or anomalies. Uh, and really where the depth of uh, capability that the banks really need to know at the moment is where they are trying to establish what sort of exposure they've been to transactions on the accounts, um, who, are, who, are the, who are the potential cyber attacks and where they may be coming from, and what experience uh, that they're seeing across their current account book, what they're seeing around the transactions, uh, what they're seeing in terms of the customer behaviours, and then in terms of managing their risk. And that becomes absolutely crucial, so both aligning themselves in terms of the risk exposure and in terms of the business rules sitting behind that. Uh, and with the industry now, they're very much more at strength of capability around knowledge-based authentication, uh, looking at questioning around an individual's credit performance uh, and credit exposure. So there's only personal data that they know, not data that is known by other people. And that provides a much stronger proof of authentication. And it also can be linked around some areas, particularly around account ownership. So certainly when you see transactions in a bank account where new account of payees, payees are being set up, then what monitoring is taking place when those accounts are being set to new bank accounts? Uh, are you able to link the ownership of the account? Uh, and are you actually then able to identify it is actually who the person you believe that you're actually transacting with? So I think overall it is very clearly a challenging marketplace for the banks. I think you have uh, a number of systems and processes in place to improve the customer service, um, but clearly making sure that the consumer is very much at the forefront of the customer's mind.